we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with, within the first few quarters. Yeah, the offense looks crisp, and guys are hitting their shots. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Anthony Davis. The two megastars are the big men, LeBron and Davis. Russell Westbrook out there with MP. And it's Bazemore at the three, the small forward. Doncic kicks to Hardaway. Pulls up on the elbow. Misses off the left iron. Lakers trail by 12. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And Davis Anthony gets Davis. it to go. One thing MP's always had is a great feel for the game. He doesn't need to see a pass like that. He just feels it. Doncic finds Hardaway over Westbrook. And there's Hardaway. That's good on the assist by Doncic. Hardaway has got 10 points. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flames. Oh, yeah, that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with the comfortable lead. And Doncic, here we go. Add that basket to his impressive total. Brings him to 10 for 14. A great disruptor of the basketball. Luka taking matters into his own hands tonight. Great to see him play like this. In the corner, Hardaway with it. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his second person. You don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Hardaway hits them both. Lakers trail by 14. Pays more on the win. Back to LeBron. Wide open. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. James loves pulling up immediately off the pass. You can't give him any breathing room, even when the pass is coming his way. Hardaway passes to Finney Smith. Conchic outside. Lock at six. He's more against Hardaway. Yeah, the defender all over. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots in the game right here. And the first one drops. At the line for Dallas. Hardaway hits them both. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Here's MP. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got six assists in the game. Dallas leading by 12. And they double up Doncic. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And he's become a true warrior on the backboard. Doncic understands how to position himself on that offensive board. A nice shot by MP. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Brown with the bounce pass. Donchich outside. Inside. Brown. Good. Brown's got eight points. A playmaker of Donchich's talents wasn't missing that gap. He quickly gets the ball to the wide open man. Down low. Let's go. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And the foul called on MP. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Przingis. Mavericks leading by 14. Doncic finds Kleba. Brown against Davis. Now Brown. He's got eight. Outside Hardaway. And stolen by MP. And here we go. MP heading to the hoop. And the shot goes in. MP's got eight points here in this quarter. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. MP against Hardaway. 
the 10 footer. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. LeBron's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Westbrook. Outside, Davis. To the paint. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from MP. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Mr. Hardaway. From past the arc. It's good. In that basket, he's now five for nine. And he doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. And the Lakers call time here. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. He's been a thorn in their side all game. They'll probably use this timeout to change up their D. The system they're in now, it, it just isn't getting it done. Jalen Brunson. Lakers substitution. And stolen by MP. Four on three break. Anthony against Powell. Trying to get something going. Count it. Good. Anthony's got seven points. And love the muscle Anthony brings to the three spot. Takes pride in outworking everyone when he's that deep inside. The pass to Brunson. Wants to get it to Doncic and does. And it's in there. Doncic has got 27. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Jordan at the elbow. Back to MP. Howard trying to free himself up. MP, no good. And the foul called on MP. That's his fifth foul. That's his fifth foul. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Anjic passes to Persingas. Howard, such an opposing presence, changing that shot. Pass to Finney Smith, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Lakers ball. Lakers substitution, Anthony Davis. Baysmore with it. And, oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter! Ringing the bell. That's the way to close the quarter. And you see this so often. Lead wide. End of the period with a three-point attempt. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. The Mavericks on top. They lead by 13. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. Now let's listen in to Frank Vogel's huddle. Straight to the floor. When you're on the ball or closing out, close out faster. Okay, take away their airspace and then contain their drive. And that's the catch-22 there. Frank Vogel wanting better perimeter defense, but also wanting to limit forays to the hoop. Yeah, and it takes tremendous discipline to do that. Don't leave your feet, don't reach, and everyone help each other defensively. Los Angeles foul. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. We get going in quarter number four. Vinny Smith in at the forward with Porzingis as the other foot. Jalen Brunson out there with Luka Doncic. And it's Powell in at the five. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Brunson against Bazemore. Porzingis and Davis sends it back. You can't take that shot in front of Davis. His reach, his height, his timing. Yep, it goes, and the Dallas lead is cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Bazemore. The Mavericks shooting about 59% from the floor offensively. They've been running without a hitch. Passes it to Finney Smith. Porzingis looking it over. Chalk up two there, and the Mavericks lead by 12. And scanning the floor well. Porzingis all about finding open teammates when they've got a look. Westbrook dishes to Davis. And finished off by Davis. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. 
Yeah, but defensively, neither side has been able to adjust, and that's reflected in the score. Teardrop shot. Doncic, no good. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers, trailing by 10. Anthony kicks to Westbrook. Here's Davis. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. The Mavericks have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's Finney Smith. Doncic outside. And Jordan sends it back. And the one thing we know about DeAndre, he's a presence at both ends of the floor. He protects the rim on D just as much as he punishes it at the offensive end. His field goal percentage has dipped this quarter. I mean, his movement has to be better. He has to find the open spots on the floor. Here's Doncic. Count that bucket. Doncic has got 29 in the game. The defense tried, but Doncic gets through. Luka able to put a smooth release on the shot despite the contact. And as to Davis. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Unloads from 13. No good on the shot. Now Dallas takes it the other way. They led the game at one point by 20. Their next game is in Cleveland taking on the Cavaliers. And that'll be game one of a four-game road trip. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half, and only one in the first. Anthony right side. Banked in off the glass. Hello, Anthony. Anthony's got nine points here in the second half. Yeah, just superb focus there for Melo. Overpowering the D and still finishes. A pass to Porzingis, and it's blocked by Jordan. And they're able to recover. Out to Doncic. Here's Persingas. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Eight points for Persingas. And the soft touch for a guy Persingas' size. He shoots it so well from the mid range. And the Lakers call time here. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. checked in and the Lakers also making a switch. Horton Tucker's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Westbrook against Doncic. The pass to Baseman to the middle. Here's Davis. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. The defense was fine but in the end Davis was just determined to score from there. We say good D better up. Mavericks leading by 10. And here is Doncic. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. They get Russell Westbrook foul. And so confident, even amongst the trees, Doncic is fantastic at forcing the issue close to the rim. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. All three throws good from Doncic. Lakers trail by 12. 
and Westbrook. Here we go. It's rebounded by Doncic. For Dallas, they've gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. That one falls. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Oh, exactly. Give it to the guy with the hot hand as long as you can. Let him try to close this Russell out. Westbrook. And that one drops. The defense probably had a plan for Westbrook's drive, but he's so dynamic. I mean, it all falls apart. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Doncic has got six here in this quarter. For Los Angeles, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Horton Tucker, the pass to Davis. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Now, here's Doncic. Driving the lane, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Doncic has got 35. And I love how Doncic reads the floor, varies his pace, and uses every trick of the bag to get where he wants to go. Here's Horton Tucker. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Maybe we can give him a pass for that turnover. You know, because he's been reliable up to now. Mistake free. Hardaway's checked in for Jalen Brunson. The Lakers also with a sub. James is checked in. Mavericks leading by 14. Now Doncic. A pass to Porzingis. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. Now the feed to LeBron. Porzingis with the block. And the 7 3 reach of Porzingis being put to great use there. And he banks in the lane. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for the Mavericks. All those block shots, that's a clear indicator of the great D they've been playing. Not giving them an inch of space out there. And also, their second chance points have been a story all night as well. But that's just pure effort and hustle. Hardaway kicks to Doncic. Unloads from 13. And it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. And that's now 37 points for Luka Doncic. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Pass to Davis. To the inside. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Oh, man. I love Davis's ability to read the floor. He's improving his ability to create for others. Passes it to Doncic. Outside Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Five to shoot. Porzingis gets a two. Rebound the Lakers. Westbrook's got his sixth rebound on the night. Inside. Davis. And Davis throws it down. He can dominate. He beat you up in so many ways. And Davis is giving this D a thump in the night. Westbrook against Doncic. It's over Bazemore. Doncic, no good. Lakers trail by 16. To the paint. Here's Davis, and he uses the glass on the way. Davis has got 22 points. Oh, he's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Doncic against Westbrook. Doncic kicks to Brown. Side Hardaway. Knocks down the three ball. Hardaway has got 12 points in just the second half. Knocks down the second three of the half. I mean, two of them in the first half also. Doing some solid work from deep. Here's Westbrook. Laid in with a nice touch Russell off the glass. Westbrook. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Doncic with it. He's picked up by LeBron. There's the triple. Another three for Dallas. Wow, his first triple of the second half gives him two on the night. He's not making much of an impact for deep. Down low and taken away by Brown. Right side Hardaway. To the middle. 
That's good from Doncic on the assist from Hardaway. Hardaway has got six assists now in the game. Lakers trail by 20. Outside Westbrook. Floats it up for Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. Love the timing Davis has. He, he has a sense for when to rise up to slam down. Now. Doncic against Westbrook. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Last break, the Lakers. He's more for three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Hardaway with it. Pass to Doncic. Over James. Brown trying to free himself up. And the shot goes in from Chris Depps for Zingas. And the Mavericks lead by 17. Here's Baysmore. He takes it in. And the dunk by Baysmore. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. The drive by Doncic. Lakers trail by 15. To the paint. Here's Westbrook. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. It's constant pressure that Westbrook puts on the defense. He never stops coming right at you. Chris, fitting right that Russell Westbrook began a charity called the Why Not Foundation. Because that sort of sums up his attitude on the court. Put a challenge in front of him, and he'll say, why not? Yeah, he's always been fearless, and there's nothing he can't do on the court, period. And Russell's charity, you mentioned, the Why Not Foundation, does a lot of great work with young people in our at-risk community. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. And now in the second half of his career, Russell Westbrook wants rings. He knows he's getting older and has no time to waste. It's why he plays with such passion. Porzingis against James. Runs in the pass to Hardaway. Dallas moving the ball around. 18 feet out. And that one comes up a bit short. And Westbrook's high motor is why do we love him. He goes out great and competes every play in every game. No doubt, but I tell you what, he's tired of missing out on the NBA Finals. This is a guy that is hungry to get back to that stage. It'll be interesting to see if he can get it done. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Mavericks. Tonight, they seem committed to the three-point shot. That, that was the bread and butter. Fortunately, they made enough of those. But, but sometimes, it was quantity over quality. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total to 47. And they really had a dominant run of games against this opponent this year. They played them three times and won every one. And what a huge standout performance it was for Luka Doncic. He hung a big number on the scoreboard, and it wasn't just because he was hot. He did it with movement and tenacity. But he can run hot or cold, but no doubt about which way he's running tonight. There's steam coming off of him. Six seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Singus passes to Hardaway. He kicks it to Brown. Davis against Brunson. Let's it go from deep, and Davis sends it back. And here's Westbrook from the arc. He can't get that one to fall. So we see the Mavericks get the win here. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.
I love the logo. Come on, Caruso. Thank you. Yeah, he's a bucket. I needed that. <laughs> Molly, I need some help. Oh, good D. Good block. Let's go. Good shot. Hang time. Nope. Oh, that's a bad shot. That's, oh, wow. Wow. I'll take it. I will take that. <laughs> As we say in the community, most blessed right there. Oh, what a move. Nice take. It's a good game. Oh, no. Someone's got to put something up. I'm looking, this isn't clutch time. Let's go, Crusoe. A quick peek into the locker room as the players get set for the game ahead. Looking to make a big splash here tonight. A beautiful look at the lights of Salt Lake City. Our setting for tonight's broadcast. Welcome to Thursday Night Basketball on 2K Sports. Glad to have you along. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from reporter Ali LaForce in a moment. Allie, take it away. Thanks, B.A. Mike Conley re-signing with the Jazz. He talked to me about it. He said, they got me. My wife and I love it here. I don't think I can go anywhere else that plays the way we play. It's been so much fun. And he's made their team better, Allie, no doubt about it. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. Russell Westbrook out there with MP. Then there's Kent Bazemore. Then there's LeBron James. And it's Davis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Jazz. The backcourt, it's Conley and Mitchell. Joe Ingles is out there with Eric Paschal. And it's Gobert in at the center position, locking down the middle. And for teams outside the playoff hunt, that 1-2-3 Ken Coon chant is going around now, Clark. I think former player Nick Van Exel, supposedly oh. the originator of that 1-2-3 chant of B.A., you wonder whether some airlines might want to use that one for a marketing slogan for themselves. Now here's Westbrook. Here's Bazemore to the middle. Stolen by Ingles. Pascal passes to Conley. Mitchell finds Pascal. Rebound, the Lakers. You know, last game they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. Just a tough road loss. You're going against players who are comfortable shooting in their own building. You have to find a way to disrupt their focus. Yeah, and it's not easy to do. Much easier said than done, but they're capable of making it happen. It just comes down, I think, to will and desire. Utah with the ball. Following the score by the Lakers. And that one's good. Mitchell. It does a lot for their spacing when Mitchell's draining threes. That's what they want from him. He can really open things up for their bigs inside. Here's Bazemore. Pass to MP. The rebound by Donovan Mitchell. Haskell with it. Shoots over Westbrook. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Here's Bazemore to the paint. Here's Davis, and they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. B.A. and Anthony Davis, you got a big man who can give you 28 a game and contend for defensive player of the year. Enough said. Davis standing 6'10 with a 7'6 wingspan. His sphere of influence, let's call it, is gigantic. B.A., I love that phrase, sphere of influence, and that's exactly what A.D. had. Multiple first-time all-defense selections, and rightfully so. This guy gets it done in both ends. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Gobert finds Conley. Stolen by Davis. 
Over to the wing. Here's Westbrook. That one, no good. The Jazz go the other way with it. They couldn't put the pieces together last time out. Losing to the Clippers. And their body language was unimpressive. They looked defeated much of the night. And because of it, they took the L. Yeah, they looked distracted, far off, distant. I mean, it seemed like their heart wasn't in it to try to win that game. Anthony Davis, Davis, that's good. Yeah, fantastic work that time, recognizing the overcommitment. Leave somebody on MP's team open, and you're going to regret it. Now here's Mitchell, coming off a 31-point game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. The shot by Conley, no good. The Lakers have gone three of five shooting so far. James against Ingles. James double-teamed. Pass to Bazemore. Here's Davis. Pascal defends, and stolen by Gobert. Conley passes to Mitchell. Outside, Ingles. Shot clock at six. And here's Pascal. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first. The defense there foul. doing whatever they can Second to protect the rim. Foul. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and it'll make him earn them from the line, and that's what you want to see. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And he makes a first. And he makes both free throws. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes play. Pass to Bazemore. Inside. MP against Mitchell. MP, the pass to James. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. 17 foot shot on the way. Outside, Ingles. Now here's Mitchell. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Mitchell's got five. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Utah. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. You know what else, guys? Defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight and turn them into points. You have to admire the focus. What body control from MP to finish off the shot? Utah has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. MP against Mitchell. Down low. Davis with a rebound. The Lakers have gone four of six in the first quarter. Here's Bazemore. 14 points for him. Last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. Here's Westbrook. And again, it's the Lakers. You know, Westbrook always in control. He gets the shot that he wants to. And over time, that can just wear out a defense. Conley finds Gobert. Mitchell into the lane. Shoots over Davis. Mitchell, good. Mitchell's got his third basket of the night. For Los Angeles, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall. Westbrook can't hit. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Here's Conley. Here's Pascal. James with the block. Great anticipation that time from LeBron. He sees the shot forming and gets there to swat it down. And Gobert with a block. They recover it. MP, the pass to Davis. Here's Westbrook. And he's going for the oop here. And Davis slams it home. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. And Utah has possession. Trailing by two. 
Outside Conley. Three-pointer. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Then put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. The Lakers call timeout. Well, despite all he's accomplished, Donovan Mitchell hasn't escaped criticism. Those saying he doesn't have what it takes to get to the next level. I'll tell you what, he's not letting it phase him, though. The Lakers trail. And Grant, you talk about that criticism. Mitchell says he's fueled by it. But you know, it's not all hate. There's a lot of people saying Mitchell is Dwayne Wade 2.0. Yeah, I mean, both super athletic combo guards. Mitchell at this point is a better outside shooter. Wade a better passer and defender. Look, I'm still taking Wade. But Mitchell is every bit of a star player in this league. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Westbrook outside. To the inside. Here's MP. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on Mitchell. Well, that time MP went fishing. Gets tricky with the pump fake and gets fouled in the act. Good MP. A different look for Utah. Gaze checked in for Pascal. Bogdanovich comes in for Ingles. And Butler is subbed in for Conley. And the Lakers also making a change. Anthony's checked in for LeBron. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Butler finds Mitchell. The three ball. Good. And Butler gets the assist. Mitchell's got 10 points in the game. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. On the wing, Davis. Here's MP. The rebound by the Jazz. Mitchell's got four rebounds now. And here's Butler outside. The Lakers with a rebound. Now MP. Pass to Bazemore. Anthony outside, inside, and stolen by Gobert. In transition, here come the Jazz. Oh, it's Gay with the jam. Gay is excellent in the fast break, and he wants to get quick points. That's why he runs so hard. Here's Anthony, and they pick up two. Can't be thrown any better. That bounce pass hit him right in stride. Utah leading. Mitchell, the pass to Gobert. From outside the arc, Westbrook with the rebound. The Lakers have gotten 7 of 13 shots to drop. Pass to Bazemore. Davis down low, defended by Gobert. Another shot. Here's MP. Westbrook with it. No good that time. Good work defensively by Mitchell. To the middle. And it's Gay with the miss. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. Pass to Bazemore. Anthony against Butler. Oh, they get a hand on it. In transition, here come the Jazz. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. The Jazz making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. Lakers substitution. Butler finds Bogdanovich. Outside Mitchell. Out to the wing. Six to shoot. Here's Gay. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Anthony. You know, for a 15-year guy who has battled through injuries, Gay can still 
get off the floor and be highly productive. He's still explosive. So you can't sleep on this guy just because he's got some miles on his legs. He can still go. The first free throw is good. And even though his games played have been up and down, Clark Gay has been very consistent in his production over the years. Yeah, he'll give you solid shooting and rebounding, B.A. I mean, he's a versatile defender, um, and I think he's a much more disciplined player at both ends now, and that typically happens the longer you are in the league. You learn how to fold them and when to go. Here's Horton Tucker. He's averaging almost five points a game. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And he parries his first look. Sharing the basketball is a part of the game that Monk needs to continue to add to to complement his shooting. And here's Butler. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And it's Butler with the jam. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Hey, they've got a nice comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-handed, just like pound cake. None with a bucket. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Griffin passes to Gay. Down low. Here's Bogdanovich. Hopping in on the layup. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Here's Horton Tucker. Outside none. Pass to Monk. Anthony up top. That one is off. And Utah will come the other way. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. It's blocked. And here they come. Here's none. Flushes it down to finish the break. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Bogdanovich, that's good. And you let Bogdanovich just catch and shoot like that, he'll make more than he misses of those. To the paint. Here's Anthony. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Gay finds Mitchell. 46 seconds left to play in the first. Two for one opportunity here. Hey, if I'm in their shoes, I go for it. Offensive board. Monk passes to Howard. Tipped away. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. We've got 22 seconds left in the first. Griffin with it. None in his pocket. Griffin passes to Gay. Five on the clock. And it's going to be a three-second call. Los Angeles ball. Coming on to the floor for the Lakers. There's 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Horton Tucker. Over Griffin. Yeah, defending with just tremendous aggressiveness. Griffin's effort prevents a basket. Just a big-time effort for Donovan Mitchell, providing a lot of energy for the Utah Jazz. He put together 10 points in the quarter. We'll be right back. And you think about LeBron James, not just one of the all-time greats. He's really a coach on the floor. I have the freedom to call sets, you know, whatever I feel best suit our team. I'm a smart, cerebral basketball player. Um, my basketball IQ is very high, and I take that very seriously. So I know what best suits our team, and our coaching staff does as well. He really does process the game at such a high level, Grant. Yeah, an all-time level. And he'll let you know about it. I mean, no false modesty at all. He says, I got this. 
And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And take a look at the Jazz performance here, guys. What do you think? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. You know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Blake Griffin. Then there's Mitchell, then it's Royce O'Neal, and it's Butler in at the point guard position. That's the group for Utah, getting going in the second. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. All right, B.A., Russell Westbrook last season said titles won't define him. He said, quote, I grew up in the streets. I'm a champion. I don't have to be an NBA champion. My legacy isn't based on what I do on this court. It's what I do off the floor. How many people I'm able to impact and inspire. Oh, different perspective, Allie. Good stuff. Pass to Mitchell. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Here's Griffin. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Howard finishing it off. To me, this is Howard's specialty. This is his bread and butter thing here. We all know this guy loves to throw it down whenever he can. He's pretty good at it. Now here's Mitchell. He's got 12. Great D that time from Monk. They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. Inside. And Grant, you were a big wing with skill. That type of player, very much in demand in today's game. Well, I mean, today's NBA is all about versatility. Can you get it done offensively and defensively? Players with size and perimeter skills are very much invaluable to their team. Ooh, Howard with a block. Get that weak stuff out of here around Howard. Return to Sinner. What he stamped that They've done a lot of good things today. But one area they need to improve is their ball security. A different look for Utah. Pascal, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. Ingles comes in for Mitchell. And Mike Conley is subbed in for Butler. And the Lakers also making a switch. James is checked in. Now here's Ingles. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Conley passes to Griffin. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Griffin's got his first bucket in this one. One of the league's better floor generals, really over the last decade. Conley plays with an old-school pass-first mindset. Now here's Monk. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Here's James. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Strong pass there to set up the basket. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Ingles passes to Griffin. Back to Ingles. To the inside. Here's Pascal. And a slam dunk by Pascal. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes two points, moves on. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Pass to none. Six on the shot clock. Got a hand on it. Griffin still possessing such incredible timing. Shooters have to be careful when he's on the prowl. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Now here's Ingles. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And here's Pascal. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. From deep, Conley. And it's Jordan with the rebound. And here are the Lakers. They're on a 12-4 run. Pass to Horton Tucker. James, outside. To the middle. Here's none. Yes, it's good. And it's a five-point Laker lead. 
Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. And the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented. The oldest starter in the league last season and still producing at an MVP level. Now here's Pascal. He has six. Back to Conley. Drives to the hoop. Can't get it to drop. Great D that time from Monk. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. And what's incredible for LeBron is not just how good he is at his age, but the mileage on his body grant. So true, oh, B.A. I mean, just more. three players in NBA history have exceeded 60,000 minutes played, including the playoffs. That's Kareem, Carl Malone, and the one and only LeBron James. Here's Conley. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago, down low. Griffin in the post. Jordan's there. Here's Ingles. Oh, the teardrop falls in. The ball handling and passing of Griffin. It's what helps set him apart from other power forwards. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. You know Blake Griffin's NBA career certainly didn't have humble beginnings. I mean, he won the slam dunk contest and won the year in his debut season. He really hit the ground running. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Utah. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Jordan. Bazemore comes in for Horton Tucker. MP's checked in for Monk. And it's Westbrook in for none. Utah trailing here. And while Blake Griffin's career certainly got off to a hot start, Grant, he's also managed to remain a dominant force over the years. No question. He's a guy who can get it done. Points, rebounds, assists, anything you need. He's a great example of an enduring talent. Yeah, you know, the second period's been much more kind to him than the first. I mean, let's see if he can keep it going and maintain this. And that one's good. James. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Conley. Five points in the game. Gaze checked in for O'Neal. Check it in for the chair. Rudy Gaze. Pascal against James. Shoots over Pascal. That shot, no good. And Utah will come the other way. To the inside. And stolen by Bazemore. Fast break, here we go. Here's MP. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. You cannot afford to get too physical with MP. I mean, he's crafty. Figuring out how to get to the line by drawing those fouls. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for MP. Boy, the perfect blend of style and substance. MP entertains fans and dominates opponents. Conley passes to Gay. Knocks it loose. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Bazemore. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Lakers. They've come out in full attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. You know, adding on to that, they've done a great job of challenging and changing shots in this first half, and they've gotten some blocks as well. Utah with the ball. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Clock at six. Conley goes in. That shot off. Excellent D there from Westbrook. Los Angeles shooting an amazing 61%. Looking confident. And Gobert with a block. A rangy defender with great defensive timing. I mean, why do you think they call Gobert the Stifle Tower? They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. Here's Conley. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Ingles. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Utah with the ball. Following the score by the Lakers. Ingles finds Conley. Looking to get it going. Rebounded by Russell Westbrook. 
Westbrook's got four rebounds now. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Mavericks was tremendous. He ended up with 34 points and also played lockdown defense. His fingerprints were all over this game. He was hot once again. We'll see if the defense tonight can do anything to slow him down. Guys? Yeah, he was unstoppable during certain stretches. It'd be great to see him top that performance tonight. Well, his team needs him to contribute. When he's on his A game, he just makes play after play. For sure. And draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. And that one's good from Conley. <laughs> a savvy playmaker with a great handle. Conley runs such a smooth pick and roll. Westbrook against Conley. From 11 feet away, misses off the right iron. Utah has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. To the paint. Pass to Pascal. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got his fourth assist with that last one. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Here's Bazemore. In the first half. Now here's Davis. Coming off a 28-point game against the Mavericks in Dallas. And really, the story for me was his incredible defensive effort. One of the most impressive shot-blocking efforts you'll ever see. Now here's Gabe. They trail by 11. The open shot by Ingles. Again, Utah. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. Pascal against James. And a foul yeah, call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Rudy Gobert picks one up. When LeBron has it inside like that, I mean, it's almost impossible to stop it. Worst case scenario, he's going to get himself through the foul line. Yeah, and you know, as LeBron continues his illustrious, remarkable career, the question seems unavoidable. It's inevitable. Him or MJ for greatest of all time. For me, it's a matter of what flavor you like. You can't go wrong with either one. Personally, I know Jordan's got the range. LeBron's got the career numbers. But I like the fact LeBron is 6'8", 250 plus, and Jordan was only 6'6", 215. I'm going with the bigger guy. Now here's Mitchell. 12 points for him. Gobert with it. Here's Pascal. LeBron with the rebound. James has got his fourth rebound in this one. You know, Clark, it seems LeBron has cemented his top two spot, but many will say he'll never pass Jordan. What do you think? Well, B, I tell you what, I don't have a problem with those folks who say that MJ is the greatest. I can see why people feel that way. And I'm leaning that way, but I love what LeBron has done longevity-wise. Titles are not the only measure for greatness in a team sport. So LeBron would get my nod just by an edge, a whisker, if I had to pick one or the other, him or him. Here's James, following the bucket by the Jazz. And Davis slams it home. Yeah, you know, it's like the game is in slow motion for LeBron. He sees the entire floor and sees it so well, knows what's coming, and usually always makes the right pass. Now here's Mitchell doing damage on offense. He's averaging about 29 and a half a game. Six on the shot clock. Jacks up a three. They get the rebound. Gobert with the bucket. Gobert's got four points this quarter. Just an aggressive move by Gobert, protecting the possession and getting the second chance look. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. Time for a quick break, then back to the action.
And if you're just joining in, one half is in the books. One half to go. MP really making a difference here. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him, body him up, be physical with him. And so in the game for Los Angeles, Anthony Davis is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Russell Westbrook, then it's MP, and it's Bazemore in at the small forward position. A shot by Conley, no good. Now the Lakers moving it up. Oh, and the dunk by MP. On offense, MP has been locked in, just going after shots, hitting them again and again. Westbrook against Conley. Mitchell into the lane. That one goes. Count it. Michael Conley with excellent vision on that pass. Defensive foul, Anthony Davis. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Utah, Donovan Mitchell. That free throw is good for Mitchell. Selected 13th overall in the 2017 draft. Donovan Mitchell made an immediate impact for Utah as a rookie leading the Jazz to a first-round upset MP. of OKC in the playoffs. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home! Oh, guys, I mean, this crowd is in awe of that Mitchell dunk. Heck, I'm in awe, too. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Now here's MP. 18 points for him. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. Conley. A shot from the low post is good. Conley's got nine. A KG score on the inside. Conley has the smarts and he has the skill. Westbrook against Conley. Westbrook with the miss. For Utah, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Conley against Westbrook. Shoots over Westbrook. And it's blocked by Davis. No, sir. Don't bring that in here. A.D. having none of that. What an imposing figure he is defensively. Utah trailing here. Pass to Conley. Now here's Ingles. Inside. Here's Pascal. And that one drops. And it comes off an assist from Ingles. 12 points for him. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. The three. Westbrook. Rebounded by the Jazz. Gobert's got five rebounds in the game. I tell you what. For him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. Davis, the pass to Westbrook. It's Bazemore on the wing. Ingles defending. Fades. Davis. That's good. Davis, a real mismatch inside because of his skill, size, and strength. And Utah calls time here. Well, Anthony Davis helped rescuing the Lakers from some lean years in the six seasons prior to his arrival. They'd missed the playoffs more times than in the previous 65 years of the franchise. And a year after they got him, they're hoisting the Larry O'Brien trophy. And now with his new contract, he should help them compete for a long time to come. For the Jazz, Griffin comes in for Gobert, and it's O'Neal in for Pascal. And the Lakers also making a switch. Howard's checked in. Pass to O'Neal. MP against Mitchell. All alone. Basket counts. Mitchell's got seven now in this quarter. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Westbrook. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Here's Bazemore. Pure from three point range. Bazemore's got seven points in the game. 
could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Pass to Mitchell. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. To the middle. And it's the Lakers on the break. And that one, good. And now it's an 11-point Los Angeles lead. All right, well, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. You also can't overlook how well they've defended the rim as they've challenged every shot and blocked quite a few tonight. This is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Here's MP. Utah with the rebound. Mitchell's got six rebounds here tonight. Ingles with it. And Howard picks him up defensively. Conley against Westbrook. Conley passes to Mitchell. Davis with the defensive effort. Los Angeles has gone just one of three from deep since the break. On the wing, Davis. Puts it up from 12. He squares up and sinks it. Davis has got four points in the quarter. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from him. Conley against Howard. Here's Mitchell. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Conley against Westbrook. Looking to get back on track. Finished off by Westbrook. Boy, this is Westbrook at his absolute best. Attacking, getting into the lane, and finishing in style. Outside Mitchell. Back to O'Neal. Pass to Mitchell. Shoots over Davis. Six to shoot. From deep, Conley. Rebounded by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got rebound number seven tonight. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, B.A. Well, the players on two-way contracts getting expanded opportunities last season after the league eliminated the 50-game cap and permitted them to take part in the playoffs. The pandemic played a role. But, guys, teams are continuing to find contributors among these scrappy young players. Well, it's all about opportunity, Allie. Thanks. And Utah calls time here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Gaze checked in for Ingles. Now here's Mitchell. 22 points for him. And it's rejected. And that'll be Utah's ball as it goes out of bounds. Jazz able to keep possession for the Jazz. Bogdanovich has checked in for Griffin. And Butler is subbed in for Conley. Butler. On the wing, Mitchell, pounded by Westbrook. That's short off the rim. And for the Lakers, they're shooting a fantastic 57%. Shoots from the block. No good there. The Jazz have gotten 6 of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. The three from Mitchell, rebounded by the Lakers. They'll be playing host to New Orleans for their next one. That'll be the first of two games on their home court. Great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Yeah, highly efficient. Nothing extra special there. Just effective. Looking to end the run. And Bogdanovich with the lay-in. Bogdanovich has got six. On the attack, Bogdanovich showing his ability to put it on the floor. Outside none. Pass to Horton Tucker. Down low. And none the bucket on the assist by Howard. He's got 13. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. Here's O'Neal. Outside Mitchell. He takes it in. And Mitchell with the slam. The burst and power of Mitchell on full display. This guy is incredible. 
Pass to Horton Tucker. Now Howard. Back to Horton Tucker. Just five on the clock. Over Bogdanovich. Horton Tucker can't hit. Utah's gone just one of three from deep since the break. Mitchell against none. Bogdanovich with it. Horton Tucker grabs the miss. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Taylor, Even with the Horton score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle, all day, all the time, cold-blooded and lethal. Here's Mitchell. Westbrook with the rebound. Here's Horton Tucker. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got six assists now in the game. Yep, Westbrook seems to have a sixth sense for those kinds of openings. Knows exactly where the gap is and finds his teammate perfectly. Now here's Bogdanovich. Six Lost points for him. The officials were right on top of that one. That's Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice Second but to blow the whistle. Foul. I mean, you got to play without foul. For the Jazz, Boya Bogdanovich. At the line for two. And that one falls for Bogdanovich. You know, you look at Bogdanovich, and this guy is really outstanding at taking high percentage shots, and he's got what I call a natural scoring ability and mentality. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Utah. Conley comes in for Butler. Jordan's checked in for the Lakers. And so Bogdanovich nails them both. And for Los Angeles, their shooting has been great this game. 58%. Outside none. Back to Horton Tucker. Give him another one. Taylor. He's 6 of 8 and looking Taylor. solid. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. And, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now here's Mitchell. 24 points for him. The rebounding numbers make it obvious why they're in front. And you know what? That tells the story in a lot of games, guys. And here you go. It's telling the story tonight, too. Taylor. And he gets the bucket. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. Two minutes remaining. And here's Mitchell. Two minutes. Launches a three. Not going to go that time. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion you'll have periods like this. Utah's gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. Pass to Conley. Gobert inside. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. That's a costly error. Now let's see how they bounce back. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. LeBron, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Now here's none. Here's Jordan. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And for much of his career, Jordan has been surrounded by unbelievable talent, Clark. Well, you think about it, B.A., Paul and Griffin in L.A., Durant, Irving, and Harden in Brooklyn. I don't know how you get much better than those five. <laughs> He's off on the first. You know, at this stage of his career, Jordan not only knows his role, but thoroughly and fully embraces it. He's out there to provide energy and hustle on defense and on the glass. MPs checked in for the Lakers. No good on the second free throw. 
Utah is shooting a disappointing 38%. James brings the double team from deep. Conley. Offensive rebound. Gobert with the bucket. Gobert's got six. And this is where you get Gobert the ball. With his size and length, he's so tough to stop from there. MP up top. Shoots from the baseline. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number seven tonight. Looking to end this cold spell. And Conley gets it to go. The assist from Gay. Conley's gotten four this quarter. The Lakers shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. Pass to Jordan. And here's James, defended by Gay. To the paint. MP, that one's good. MP's got 24. Well, I tell you what, you've got to love MP's resilience battling through the contact there. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Gay, the pass to Mitchell. Let's the three fly. James with the rebound. James has got six rebounds now in the game. MP. That falls. MP. Nice feed that time from James. He's got 26. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Here's Mitchell. And so it's Los Angeles. Ending the quarter with a 20-point edge. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. More 2K action in just a moment. And now we take a listen in to a recent huddle from Frank Vogel. Play for each other, creators and receivers. Okay. Share the ball. Here we go. Wanting everyone on the same page offensively. Frank Vogel saying to each man, do it for your teammates. Yeah, I like that he's promoting the spirit, the camaraderie between the guys. When they're working together, they're a lot harder to stop. MP. Assisted. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Mitchell and Bogdanovich fill the wings. Eric Pascal is out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley in at the one spot. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. So it's the Lakers now. It's a 22-point lead, the most they've led by. Here's MP. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It is always a good idea to pound it inside. MP forcing the issue that time. Getting himself to the line. Free throw good. MP. And the top pick in this year's draft, Cade Cunningham. Grant, I heard some insiders compare you to him. You like those comparisons? Well, he's 6'8 with skill, sees the floor, I think approaches the game the right way. Maybe not the leaper I was, but tremendously talented, and I'm so eager to see how he develops. He's got a bright future in front of him. Now the Lakers moving it up. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Look at AD, and you know he's taken his share of contact over the course of his career. And Quite honestly, that just comes with the territory when you're a dominant offensive player like him. A big group substitution here for Utah. Griffin, he's checked in for Gobert. Johnson comes in for Pascal. Hughes, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And it's Oni subbed in for Conley. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Yeah, you know, it's been exciting to watch Davis develop as an NBA player. I mean, he's put a lot of hard work in. He's turned into a dominant MVP caliber player. And some teams still struggle to find ways to deal with him. And it's James with the jam. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. And, guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one.